first shot 44 mag no penetration it's a great thing I'm gonna set it back up as you can see I'm going through there I don't see any penetration whatsoever. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Show the layers through there. Again, zero penetration. Excellent. dissect it a little bit more so we're opening it up again here's all the lead inside here two shots as we said before 44 mag perfect Let's see the back just to show the back there again didn't penetrate whatsoever and let's see if there was how many did it penetrate the last sheet no how many sheets did it penetrate in Wow, we still got a couple to go. Wow. Wow. So you can see it didn't penetrate these sheets right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean it was like twenty sheets. Yeah, so it only really penetrated eight sheets. The remaining one stopped it. So we're gonna tape this up. We're gonna hit the fifty cal at it, see what happens. So just to show you guys what we're shooting here today, to the right we have a Smith & Wesson 44 mag, and to the left we have a Smith & Wesson 500 mag, or 50 cal, uh, the most powerful handgun in the world. So currently, rating for uh, NIJ 3A standards, it needs to be up to the 44 mag, which we just tested. We saw that there was zero penetration, and still had about 20 sheets to go. We're gonna fire off this bad boy here. Um, couple different rounds lead and then also going for speed too so impact as well as velocity all right so we'll see what happens <laughs> wow so <laughs> oh shit I took it out uh, it did penetrate the front well, no, it looks like maybe the back. Let's see what we got here. Broke my. Uh... <laughs> no, it didn't go through. Look. Oh, there it is. Yep, it caught it. So it, it caught the actual. Just see if I'm in in, in focus there. Is it right in the middle? Yeah, you're good. Okay, you're perfect. Good. So you can see it actually caught with the layers. Now we didn't have something really backing it up but still um, it actually caught the the shell itself kind of ripped everything to shreds here maybe we can put Humpty Dumpty back together and uh, take a few more shots at it so we'll see what happens thirty odd six hundred and sixty five grain fifty caliber four hundred grain Solid core, solid bullet. Okay, another test here. We're gonna have it where the the actual soft plate is uh, that we've put back together. Um, we're gonna have it up against this burn uh, to be able to take some of the impact and 
see what happens. Again, shooting with the 50 cal. Uh, so you can see one, two, where the 44 up in the top left was the 50. Um, so we're going to hit that again from down here. All right, so we're going to be shooting out of the 50 cal here. You can see what we're looking at. Um, it's a 400 grain bullet coming out of a Smith & Western 500 mag. Go ahead. All right, let's see what we got here. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, so it looks like the duct tape held up, which is great. What we got here, turn it sideways. Again, we're seeing maybe the shrapnel came out of the top a little bit, but I don't see any sort of penetration in the back here whatsoever. So let's look at this. I'm sure, we're going to dissect it when we get back over. Just see. Again, here's the end result. That's where it went right through right over my logo great great shot all right so we're going to cut it open after the last shot with the 50 cal um, again didn't look like any penetration which is excellent just at the 28 layer Okay, it went in this way. Yeah. Here's the slug. There's a slug right there. Uh, we kind of uh, caught the edge of the paper here. Yeah. So again, here's the slug. Again, it stopped it. Right here you can see. Man, and that's a, that's here, a rim here, shot too. Now here is not even touched. Let's go back a little bit. Right here, okay. This one's good. So how, many, how many layers do we still have? 20. Wow. Another 20. At least 20. It didn't go through. Wow. So it, it wasn't much different from the uh, 44, really. Yeah. Just a lot more power. Very good. And you want to try the 30 alt 6? Yeah, we'll shoot it with the 30. All right. Shooting a 30 out 6 at the soft armor to see if there's any penetration up close. See what happens. Okay. Ready. All right, so we can see where the next shot went. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's still warm and no penetration. Huh? <laughs> no penetration. <laughs> There's where it went in. I don't see where it came out. Let's go open it up now. All right cutting it open after shooting it with a 306 round um, which is comparable if right not here. more powerful you said than a, a 308 is that correct correct I'm getting there yeah then here Oh, here it is. It's in here somewhere. Did she pop out the bottom? Maybe. Maybe there was something. Here we go. Here we go. There's a little bit of it. Man. <laughs> so I guess it just kind of disintegrated and went all, all it out It must have fell apart on me. But as you can see, and we still got a nice big now, stack here. you get here. down here, you have a little mark. Yeah. Okay, next one. No, nothing. Nothing. So what do we got here? That's a lot of sheets. Still, yeah, like, I... Probably 18. 18, 20. 20. Yeah, we're right there again. Wonderful. So again, 44 mag, 44 mag, 50, 50, 3006. Hello everyone, it's Chris with Body Armor Megastore, just trying to do a review of uh, the shooting today. Um, first the soft armor, then going to the steel, 
and the, the spall protection that we put on it. Uh, also the different caliber uh, ammunition that we used, the box, just a quick review there, and then also the uh, tissue paper to be able to show any spall reaction that would not be caught by uh, the eventual possible product spall armor. So let's look at the bullets first here. 30 out 6, as you saw before, um, 50 cal. Here's where the 44s, 223. That's that other first shot of the 50 cal, the remnants of it, how it caught it. So I want to make one quick correction. You guys were probably uh, interested in uh, and saw when we were doing the review of the uh, 30 out six when it shot at point blank range at the dot here number five. That it seemed like uh, there there was some penetration all the way through that we weren't aware of. And that's exactly right. Uh, it was kind of bright out there to begin with, and then you get back and you're looking through things. But you can see here, it did penetrate all the way through. It was just that it shot it at an angle and kind of went in here, went in on this side, and then this side here, and then went through, and then went out there because it was sitting on the burr and uh, at this kind of angle here. So anyway, you can see went through a number of the layers right there again hopefully you can see that all the way through again right there all the way through again but if we go to one of these sheets we'll just pull out and, and look at the sheet that's the only penetration here so if we want to count backwards of where we saw penetration for a lot of the other uh, caliber handguns that were shot at this 28 layer sheet I would say that Right about, yep, right about here, um, maybe, maybe the next sheet, the next sheet here. Yeah, so I'd say this sheet caught it, this was the nut caught it. So how many sheets do we have left? Let's count that. So if we're still holding on here, we count it. Um, we're at all right so that would be the last sheet and as I'm trying to show you it went through here but it didn't really penetrate right here all too much but it did go through right here so just to count them one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, maybe, yeah, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, that's amazing. So you're telling me that potentially uh, six sheets of this Kevlar UD was able to stop based on our test 500 Magnum or 50 Cal, most powerful handgun in the world. So that's amazing. Um, did not stop, obviously, the 30-06, which we tested. So. It's interesting to note, 